Greg Potters with albumreview.net. At albumreview.net, we don't just help you launch, publish, and grow your podcast, but we also interview musicians, artists, and authors. And in the last couple years since we launched albumreview.net, I've been doing a lot of things today that I didn't do when I was younger, and that is read. No, 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 no. So that term's been debunked. I mean, come on. In case you guys haven't heard, the nerds are running the world right now, while us freaking ex-football players sit on the sidelines and just watch it go by. So that's what's motivated me to create. And when I get together with friends, colleagues, and other entrepreneurs, I want to pass along that knowledge. I want to pass along that information. So in doing so, I wanted to talk about quickly a couple books today that you can get at the bookstore at albumreview.net. The first one is The Creative Act, A Way of Being by Rick Rubin. If you guys haven't heard of Rick Rubin, he's a music producer, a really, really, really good music producer. And he's produced albums from music from different genres. So you should definitely check him out. In this book, Essentially, to break it down, Rick talks about the reason we're, I'm quoting him now, the reason we're alive is to express ourselves in the world, and creating art may be the most effective and beautiful method of doing so. You can check this book out and many others at the bookstore at albumreview.net. Let's see, I also have other books that you can go check out. The Entrepreneur Roller Coaster by Darren Hardy. Starting a business when you're afraid to, this is a key one. The Accidental Business Nomad, Kyle Hegarty, I had him on the podcast. And for you music lovers, which I know you're out there, the Spotify Play, which is a book about the history of Spotify. You can check all these books out and many, many more at the bookstore at albumreview.net.